So uh, what was the biggest challenge for you as director? Keep the essence of the first movie or um, the original, I mean, the, yeah. pic the animation movie, or doing something new for the young audiences? I think a little bit of both, you know? It's, um, it's important for me, of course, as a filmmaker to make something original and, you know, continue telling the story. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, they, you know, you want to honor the the original uh, animated film, and of course, and also the 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 first uh, film live action movie, you know, with with. Uh, and I think what surprised me was um, how it grabbed me emotionally, and uh, I think that was the most important thing to you know continue exploring that relationship between Maleficent and Aurora and you know and uh, because these characters are so relatable and also you said it you were, you were not directing the, f the first one so uh, you try to be true to Robert Stromberg's uh, view well I think that uh, um, uh, again you, this story is an original story and and uh, the first one was based you know, on the Sleeping Beauty legend, and and uh, but at the same time, spinning it from another angle, which I think was a huge part of the success of it because it surprised you. So I think going into this one, what was important for me was to try and surprise the audience again and expanding the the this universe and and take Maleficent to the next level, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, also for me, it feels like uh, nowadays uh, kids' films are more meaningful and even more political than ever. Do you think uh, that it's necessary to have a message to make a good film? Well, I think it's, it's, I think it's necessary to make it relatable, you know? That, uh, yes, it is a big movie, it's a fairy tale, it's, it's a spectacle, but uh, you need to somehow root it in, in something that you can understand. And yeah, you know, there's, there's definitely a view on today's society in some way. Yeah, I would say that. And in this case, what do you think that is the most powerful message? Well, I think the thematics of this uh, franchise is, is um, man versus nature, I think, in a way. And in today's society, uh, you know, how we're, it, it reflects somehow in today's society, for sure, that we're, we're trying to conquer nature in sometimes not a good way. Um, and that's definitely what's going on in this movie, you know, the dark fae, the Maleficence representing nature, and then you have Queen Ingrid on the other side, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, um, you know, trying to conquer it, trying to conform it, and, 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 um, and, um, and own it somehow. And also I really like how the uh, relationship between Aurora and, and the prince <laughs> is, is not that important. It is important, but yeah. it's not the most important relationship. Um, do you think that uh, maybe the classical tale of prince and princess getting married is becoming something of the past and the, the audience wants something new? Well, I think they, or the audience will always look for something original, you know, and yes, it is. It is a princess and a prince, and and uh, I think within the first five minutes of the of the film, you know, we get we get the proposal out of the way, you know, and then we can we can start telling the story, and and again for me it's about the daughter wanting to you know move out. It's it's a, the the mother daughter story, and that I'm a parent myself, and you know I can totally you know relate to that, and I I fear the day when they will leave, and suddenly as a parent you're not the most important person in. In the world anymore, you know, um, and uh, yeah, it, it is important in any movie to 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 make the characters relatable, and especially in a big movie like this, where it's you know it's a lot of spectacle and you know all of that. And but if if you don't follow the characters, it doesn't matter. And um, is there something about the original fairy tale that you ha you could have liked to include it, but you couldn't? <laughs> Uh, um, no, I think we, we, <laughs> we got there, you know, it, it, we spent so much time working on this script and, and, uh, uh, 
and especially you know especially Angelina Jolie she's relentless we we spent you know a year working on the script at her house together with the screenwriters and you know it really never stops and I think uh, you know um, I think I think that um, we we managed to get most of it in there but it's also such a rich universe you know so there's there's absolutely more to explore so but we'll see yeah <laughs> 